Good morning, guys. Happy Vlogmas number 21. See my little Santa? Coffee cup's empty, though. Forgot to turn the coffee pot on again last night. Ugh. So, it's brewing right now, and then I'll have coffee with my hubby this morning because I just got up, and it's 6, 10 in the morning. Whoa. Slept in a little bit this morning. Didn't mean to. I just did. So, this morning I'm going to cut out some of those things that I got from the not too shabby shop and share that with you so I'll see you in the craft room in just a few good morning guys welcome to daddy dies crafty corner and welcome to vlogmas number 21 wow okay guys so today I'm going to be showing you some of the stuff that I had gotten from the not too shabby shop haul that I just did I promised to cut some out and stamp some out. I'm not going to stamp them all out today because, you know, that just takes so very long. But I wanted to go ahead and show you what I've already cut out and then give you a tip because, yeah, just because I can. And then we're just going to stamp out a couple of little images. So I wanted to go ahead and show you the things that I did cut out. So here is the Lawn Fawn um, Be My Valentine. I forgot to take, I, well, I know there's going to be a glare, guys. It's because there's no sun in the room today. We're back to no sun. And I didn't poke out all of the little bits and bobs, so I really should do that. And I'm just going to be putting it on my favorite cardstock, which is Simon Says Stamp, but I do love this. So that's what it looks like cut out. I didn't um, get the eye right there. And I'll come up a little closer so you can see it. But super cute. Very, very cute. Um, do I have a card? I do have a card base. Hold on. All right, so this is an A2 size card. So that's how it would look if you put it across the card. You would have a little bit of trimming to do on either side. And it also, nope, you can't put it this way. So just long ways which is the way most of us do our cards. I just happen to like to do mine the other way. So super cute. Actually, it's very pretty. Okay, so there's that. And again, that is the Lawn Cuts by Lawn Fawn Be My Valentine Border. Okay, so the next one I cut out for you guys, I'm gonna put that on the blue, are the three sentiment what are they? Stitched Sentiment Strips by um, My Favorite Things Dynamics. That's what they look like up close. So this one has a stitch detail all the way around and has the um, little flag thing cut out on both sides. This one has stitching on just either side this one has stitching on just the flat side and it has a little detail on one side only. So I cut out three different sentiments and I'll just tell you what I stamped. This is stamped with the Memento black ink and it's like I said guys, I don't really have good luck with that normally. Yesterday was a fluke I think, but I'm going to try it today with these stamps. So this was stamped out with the Memento ink. These two were stamped out with my favorite sentiment ink, which is the Versafine. And here is the one with just the flag on one side. I'm going to bring it up close so you can see the stitching. Super cute. Here's the one with the stitching all the way around and the one with the stitching on either side. I am absolutely crazy about these. Absolutely crazy about them. I love the fact that they add stitching and I don't have to cut the little what's it, whatever that's called, the what's it at the end, because I never get mine even, ever. And I have a few that have come with sets, like my favorite thing has their, um, oh, I forget what they're called, but they, I have some longer ones, but most of my sentiments are very small. They're very short. I happen to like putting little words at the end of like happy birthday or something, you know, or have a cut out thanks or something, you know. 
and then put something a little underneath it. These are perfect. Crazy about this set. So that again, that's what that looks like. And I got those from the Not Too Shabby Shop from Jamie. Okay. Yeah, I'm crazy about these. All right, so next is these. So this is the Custom Cuts from Lawn Fawn Valentine Borders. It came with three. One's a scallop with a little um, hole, a little eyelets in the middle of it, the hearts and the arrows. And I've cut them out on card bases to show you. So it might be hard for you to see them. Maybe not though. All right, so there's the detail. Now I'm going to be using these in a card coming up by Valentine's. I'm going to incorporate, because you guys know I don't like to waste. I'm going to incorporate these into my Valentine cards that are coming up. So there's a little stitching detail that you get with the um, arrow part of that die. Super cute. And then here is the scalloped eyelet one. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And then here is the, oh, well, we're, there went all the heart confetti, guys. You get a lot of heart confetti with this one. And there is how that looks. Super pretty. Very, very pretty. Now, on all of these, remember, you could cut these out. You could, let's go this way. You could actually, because I'm going to use this as an example, you could actually um, take your trimmer and cut it out and make a border. Just like that. You could make a border going across it and put the border on your page as well. So you could just trim that out right there and you'd have a pretty little border in whatever color you want it in. Same thing with this little heart detail right here. Just trim it out right on top, right on the bottom, and you've got a fantastic border. You could put some ribbon behind there or a piece of cardstock that's colored, like in this case. I love to do things that are um, rainbow colored. So I could just color a piece of cardstock behind each one of these and the rainbow color going around. That would be spectacular on a card. So you can trim these out. You don't have to leave them as part of a trim on a card, but I'm going to be using these as trim on the card. And then I did go ahead and trim out one piece, cut out one piece for you because I cut the back of this card. Nope. I cut the back of this card to match and I'm actually going to use the card this way so I cut the inside of it to match so on that piece I had a little piece of border left over so I could show you what that looks like now it's at this point where I went you know what Lawn Fawn just released two sets of dies one was the rectangles and one was the circles with this pattern I think she's calling it a fancy scallop or something so I immediately went to Jamie's shop and I put them in my cart and I'm like, I, I really think I want them. But before I buy them, I just want to try something. So I went and got out my, hold on, let's get rid of these hearts. I went and got out my, um, like I said, you get a lot of confetti That's and that's a great thing. I went and got out my Lawn Fawn scalloped circles. They look like that. And I cut one out. And then I got the Gina Marie Designs um, stitched dot scalloped circle. And I thought, what if I went ahead and put my own dot in the middle? So all I did is I just took my piercing tool. That's where I've got my um, secret weapon down here. And I just went to the middle of the scallop and punched. And you can make these, as, I'm going to make these a little bit thicker, because now that I'm looking at that. Alright. Alright, so let's compare. On the blue paper. Alright, so, there is the little design. And this is on the Gina Marie. And you know, sometimes it's all about using what you already have to get the effect. Now, I really love this effect. I love it a lot, actually. But, mm, look guys, we can kind of do it with what we already have. 
and all it's going to take is a piercing tool and something to pierce into. You don't have to have the um, secret weapon. You can use a mouse pad, you can use an old piece of um, foam from packing. You can use a lot of things to help you poke a hole. Um, yeah, so what do you think, guys? Super pretty. And this is one of my favorite scallop dies. I already own it, so I can do whatever I want with it right there. And then I'll show you on the Lawn Fawn one as well. The Lawn Fawn scallops up until now haven't had any design. They've just been plain scallops. So let's go ahead and do a couple more here, just so I'm hoping you can see, guys. Oh. Disregard that one. I just made an oval. <laughs> That's not good. Let's skip a few so I can show you how they look when you're actually taking your time and doing it correctly. That would be the part of the thing where I've mentioned I don't have good eyesight. And my pad moved a little bit. So all I'm doing right now is I'm just wiggling it a little bit just to make that hole a little bit bigger. Okay, now let's go back in with our blue paper. And so this is just a plain stitched, uh, a plain, oh, a plain scallop. Oh man, the lawnscaping people are here. Ah, about to get very noisy. All right, so that's how that looks. And again, we'll compare it to this. Yeah. See what I'm saying, guys? We can use pretty much the same thing. So I'm very excited about that. I still have those over in um, my cart over at Jamie's Not Too Shabby Shop because I'm going to think about it today and place the or either place the order or I'm going to place a different order this evening. I've got a couple of other things that I want to pick up. So let's go ahead and stamp. These are the two I'm going to stamp out today just for time reasons, and I'm going to do it kind of quickly. And I'm going to use the Memento ink since, you know, it seems to be a hit or miss with me. What's up with that? All right. So I'm going to start with this little guy here. This is the Girder Steiner Designs, and it is Coffee Hedgehog. Coffee Hedgehog. Super stinking cute. Has that nice polymer smell. You know, I never ever realized the smell of these things until Stephanie Bernard started sniffing her stamps on on her videos, and I was like, I don't know. I don't really think it smells good. It doesn't really smell bad, but I don't really think it smells good either. All right. Ah, the little ones. The little ones always get you. All right, you just go wherever you want to go. Just sit there. Okay, I'm not fighting with him anymore. We're just going to stick him here. Okay, that works for me. Nah, probably not because I'm going to want to um, cut this little guy out probably with the brother scan and cut so all right and we're going to go ahead and do the octopus at the same time just so you guys can see what they look like and then if i have mm -hmm, there'd be that noise i was talking about i'm sorry guys i really don't have a lot of time today so this is the time that i can get this done I don't have the babies today so I have tons of work to do today because you know we're coming up on Christmas are you guys feeling the crunch I'm cooking so I really like these little bubbles too uh Oh, that little bubble tried to escape and I'm gonna do octopi And you, these won't be exactly straight, guys. I never use the exclamation mark because <laughs> I really do feel like I'm yelling at somebody when I use it. But 
I will use it today just so you guys can see it stamped out if I can get it to lay down. Lay down. Alright, we're going to try to catch it on the M. And the thing. You know, they couldn't start in the backyard. Oh. Okay, these are all brand new stamps, guys. They've never been stamped. So I'm just going to go through and just kind of give them a little rubby. I don't know if that really works or not, but mm, it seems to. All right, and I'm going to, like I said, we're going to give this memento a shot. I think the reason I stopped using Memento is because one, I didn't have the Misty back then, and two, when I compared it to some of the newer hybrid inks that were coming out, it just kind of looked dark gray, not really black black, you know? So I think that's why I stopped using it. Oh, that's not going to work, Diane. So yeah, so today I've got to run an errand. Um, and I, I got to do that this morning because I need to be home for a delivery today. Well, that's not going to work either, Diane. And I've got to get some housework done today because my husband's vacation actually starts tomorrow. So he will be home tomorrow and Friday and Saturday. He's actually not golfing at all for the next two weeks because we're going to be on vacation and spending some time together. So, um... I can't get anything done when he's home. I cannot get a thing done when he's home. Yeah, true to, true to form there. Didn't quite get, that's my desk right here. You know, it's like the desk sinks in, so we're gonna re-stamp it there. But other than that, guys, that Memento ink didn't do bad at all, so. I think it was all about my stamping and not so much the ink. There is a little furry thing right there on my octopus, though. So I can't really use that octopus. I'm going to have to stamp him again. I don't see anything on my ink pad, but definitely something on the octopus. All right, let's make sure we push down right there really good. See, that's right in the middle. I already told you my desk bows in right in the middle. So that section right there, I never get a good impression, even with the Misty. But with the Misty, at least I can go back and fix it. Okay. So that's actually pretty dilly dang good. Now this little section, you may be able to see right here, there's a little black right in there. I have a couple of choices there. I could either restamp it. Or I can take a little scratchy tool or my little, um, mm-hmm, can't show you that because it's not within arm's reach. I have a little eraser, a little sand eraser, and I could just scrape it off a little bit. Um, but I'll probably just re-stamp it because I do want to use it, but I'm going to use this one first. Isn't that little guy cute? Let's come up closer. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Beautiful, and that's with the memento. Now I'm wondering, I'm gonna go back and look. I'm wondering if I did the sentiment in, see how it kind of spreads out a little bit there and here too? I'm wondering if I did the sentiments in a different ink, if that would look a little better. So I might try that when I do the card, you'll get to see it then. Cause I'm going to do, we do the card. I'm going to make the card. I'm going to actually probably have to fussy cut him out, which is fine with me. 
Um, I'll just kind of zigzag around the hair and then I'll fussy cut the rest of it out and I'm going to be making a little card with him. So I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. I will see you. I might put in an insert from this. I'm going, I got to go to Target today. I've got to go pick up um, a gift card there and I've got to pick up a couple of items and then that's it. The rest of the day is going to be spent cleaning my house, doing some laundry because I'll be able to get none of that done. And then, like I said, we're on vacation the Monday after Christmas until the 2nd. So I really need to give my house a good deep cleaning today and see how much I can get done. Because when my husband's home, guys, I just can't get anything done. I can sneak away into the craft room, so I know I'll do that tomorrow and Friday. Um, Saturday, I'll be preparing for Christmas dinner. And then I will do a little shot of Christmas dinner for you guys. Um... And if we go out and do something, I am not going to bake pies this year. Mm, I've decided I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that to myself. So I need to go out and find a place that has good pies. So we're going to do that tomorrow. Um, we have so many bakeries around town. So we're just, and plus we have some um, citrus places, places that sell cit fruit, citrus fruit that sell some fabulous apple pies. So we might wander into one of those tomorrow and get a pie. Um, so I will show you that when we do it. Uh, so happy Vlogmas number 21, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And um, let me know what you think about this, about these. I think that is gorgeous. Oh, that didn't work. I think this is gorgeous. So now I'm kind of on the fence about the dyes. But uh, you know, you know me. I love everything lawn fawn, so I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it a few hours and think about it. Alright guys, I will see you a little bit later on. Maybe if not, I will see you tomorrow. Our video tomorrow is gonna be me wrapping last minute Christmas gifts, probably. Whoa. Have a great day. Bye. Hi guys. I thought I would show you this little image. This is where I've gotten so far on it. I'm gonna do a couple more things to it, then put it together as a card. This is actually going to go to my daughter, Susie, who's the school teacher and the Starbucks barista, which by the way, we, that's where I get my coffee from, all the lovely coffee you see in the morning. is compliments of her mark out each week. So um, I'm going to make her a little card saying thank you for giving me all that lovely coffee. And I'm going to use this cute little guy. My intention was to use that cute little heart I put on the coffee cup which is that cute little heart right there. But guess what guys, after I did that, I went to go put it on a small block to stamp it out in a couple of places on the card and I dropped it on the shag carpet. I'm never gonna find it, never gonna happen. I did, however, find a sewing needle while I was down there and a thumbtack and a cloud die, which I've already lost. <laughs> Oh, here, look, I found this. But I did not find that tiny little heart. So I'm, when I, I've got to run out, my husband left his wallet at home. I have to run out and take my husband his wallet. And then when I get home, I'm going to run the little tiny vacuum all over the floor. And um, maybe I'll find it in the little container when I dump everything out to look for it. So that's how it's coming so far. And I'll show you the card when I'm done.